Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, it's Lee McCain here. And it is Beth McCain. And together we are the Beth and Lee McCain radio show, where all we talk about is... The <laughs> Law of Attraction. And boy, we've got a lot of Law of Attraction to talk about this week. We sure do. We have one question, but then we have another question, which we've received basically over the let's say the last year even probably it's, it's one of our top 50 times again, yeah yeah and so we're kind of doing a mass answer of the question <laughs> yeah and but but it's very fun you'll see why yeah because yeah we took it upon ourselves to kind of do an experiment I, yeah it was so a you'll lot get of fun. the result of the experiment <laughs> and it involves the lottery <laughs> it sure does <laughs> now anybody who wants to don't forget that if you have a question please email us at Beth and Lee McCain at yahoo.com and we will either answer it on the air or we will personally answer it and we always get back to you we even, always if it, do. even if it takes a few days we always get back to you so uh, please do that sure hey well, we have exciting news go right ahead well, the magazine. Well, okay. Magazine number two. You have to talk about it because I always talk about it. <laughs> I know you do because you love it so much. It's gone to press. Mm -hmm. And so we're just waiting for that proof to get into our hot little hands. And it's actually... Uh, On its way. Yeah. It's, so it's, we're excited we're about that. We're tracking the UPS delivery truck. Yeah. You know, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but like doing it <laughs> don't we <laughs> right now our magazines are in Elkhart Indiana <laughs> oh well shall we get to our questions oh sure okay, okay. so this one I'll, I'll ask of you Beth it is from Paulette in Nova Scotia it's cold there yeah it's cold in here <laughs> hi Paulette <laughs> well uh, Paulette asks she says I have a teenage daughter when she doesn't get what she wants, even down to if my husband and I want to take a ride by ourselves, she pouts and makes me feel guilty. What can I do through the law of attraction to get this to stop? Teenage daughters. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> We've had one go through that. Gone and, through and, it. and one that's going to very Eventually, soon. Eventually, <laughs> sure. Well, believe it or not, it's very simple. Your perception must change. She knows how to make you feel guilty, so change the rules. When you have a moment where she is making you feel guilty, don't feel guilty. Think about why you say no to her, and if you feel good about your decision, no guilt is required. The guilt comes in when we see the disappointment in someone's face when they don't get what they want. But you have to think about what is best for you and your family, and your daughter will begin to not use the guilt chip when she realizes it isn't working. But it starts through you. Is it worth it to visualize a calm resolve? Sure, but you can act on the situation now just by thinking about what is best for you and the situation and sticking with what you decided. Giving in means you have become a part of your daughter's creation and she wants you to play the main villain character that turns into what she wants when she gets her way. What role do you want your daughter to play in your creation? Focus on that and act upon it. More sage advice was never given. <laughs> Actually, it, it, it's I, I, I kid right now, but but seriously, that is a that's a straightforward yeah uh, question, and you can see how the law of attraction figures into that answer. Yeah, you, you know? have to. You know, you have it. Always starts within you. No matter what someone else feels like they're foisting upon you, it's a reflection of you. What you're attracting. Yeah, and so how do you stop that? By stop attracting it by changing your perception. Mm -hmm. So there, there you, go. you go. That's it. Okay. Ding, ding. Next. <laughs> oh, okay. I know. You've just been waiting for this question. <laughs> the lottery question. Yeah, you have. I know. <laughs> anyway, okay. So here's the question, and we're using it as a mass term here because we really do get a little lot. Well, like I say, we've probably gotten this 50 times this mm -hmm. year. Alone. And so we tried a little experiment. Um, we'll go ahead and read the question, and we'll tell you what we did. And actually, it was really neat. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Too bad that we don't do the lottery more often. Okay, so here's the question. Every week I buy a lottery ticket and just know I'm going to win, and then when I scratch it, I don't win. How can I guarantee that I will win the lottery? <laughs> and, 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 and and actually, yeah, this person, the, the one that we, the question that we pulled here, I guess this person plays the scratch it, the scratcher mm -hmm. tickets. Yeah. It's a, well, anyway, why don't we... Uh, well, let's talk about it first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we believe that more people would probably win the lottery if they didn't become so disappointed when they didn't win. 
Here's a scenario for you. So you have decided that you are visualizing all week on winning on a scratcher ticket. So the day comes and you go buy your ticket. You have it all in your mind, you're gonna win. You get up to the counter and have hundreds of scratchers to pick from. So you go with what you think is your intuition and buy one. You go in the car and start scratching. First scratch you say, I'm gonna win. As you get farther into the game, you begin to wonder if you're going to win. Then when you don't win or you win a small amount, you are disappointed in what you thought was your intuition telling you that you would win. You're disappointed in the universe, disappointed in yourself, and just all around bummed. <laughs> all, <laughs> all those feelings gear you up for the next ticket that you buy for the next week. Do you see all the disappointment and doubt involved? So what would happen if you visualize in the day you bought your ticket, you thought about what ticket it might be in the solitude of your own home? Once you found it, then you go to the store, you bought the ticket, you envisioned it, and you didn't win. This is where a change should be made. We're not advocating gambling here. We're just letting The lottery you... should be played for entertainment purposes only, <laughs> not for investment Did purposes. Did you write that? <laughs> so anyway, we're just telling you how it could work. And so we actually did this. We tested the theory because... At the, we had a, a little uh, a, kind of a wrap party for our the magazine, magazine getting out, and so we had you know quite a few people around, and we got to talking about this, and so Lee was the one who laid down the gauntlet. Okay, all right, who wants to be in on this with me? Who wants to visualize and see what we can do? So six of us, which is basically Beth and I and, and our four permanent staff. Yeah, that, we raised you know we raised our hands. We're like, yeah, okay, we're gonna be the ones, and then another six took it. Because they they really aren't um, law of attraction practitioners. They're just like friends of some of the people. Who yeah, came to the and actually now. a couple of them work for us as well. And so they six of them did it as well. Mm -hmm. So Lee <laughs> handed out money to each group and said, "Okay, next week at this time, let's see how it what happened." And so we let the we'll just call them the non LOAers mm -hmm. go on their own, do what they were going to do. Whatever do. they were going to do. So what we did. Go ahead, you tell Well, them. so basically what we did was we all kind of got in a group and we just visualized, you know, what do the tickets look like? Well, Where are they located? We decided on the store we would get them from. Mm -hmm. Would they, we get them from the counter or would we get them from the machine? Mm -hmm. We decided on the color. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided on the amount of the tickets. Like, was it a $2 ticket or a $3 ticket, you know? Mm -hmm. And we and we just visualized this and we, and we just kind of went with our intuition. And we went with what the group consensus was. Uh -huh. That's what we ended up doing. And, we and then Beth, we, we, we waited in the parking lot. And Beth, <laughs> Beth, went, Beth went in and bought the tickets. I bought the tickets and then I got $2 worth of quarters so that everybody could scratch them. <laughs> okay, so you want to so hear... So here's the results. Our results. We had two $2 winners, one $17 winner, one $25 winner, and one $100, $100 winner. winner. And I didn't win that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. You know, and that's, well, yeah. That's like a hundred and... Well, Jim won it. It's Jim's ticket. 146 bucks. So Jim's buying the pizza today. Yeah. <laughs> so it was 146 bucks, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we don't normally buy scratcher tickets or anything like that, but... It was an exercise. Yeah, and just it's to funny, see what would happen. It's funny how cool it played out. So we were all really excited. Now, the other group, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> they won. Okay, and they went with the other thing is what they went with, you know, the disappointment and everything. Mm -hmm. That's how it went with them. We They won a $2 ticket, a free ticket, and one of them actually didn't buy tickets. He kept the cash. So <laughs> there you go. So there we have it. Now, whether that's official or unofficial, I don't know. But there but you it's go. But it, 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 it's, I don't know. I mean, it's, and I don't know how long it's been since we played that That thing. was fun. We yeah. had a good time doing it. And we just, like you said, we, we had pizza and yep. bought a coffee or two. And, and so, so it was uh, fun. Yeah. So we'll be back next week. We will. We're we not going to play the lottery again. but no. <laughs> That was we, sure fun. Yeah. And uh, we thank you so much for uh, listening to us. And, and uh, hey, you have a great week. All right. Bye. Bye.